a week for my bed just because of availability. And I said to the person on the phone, I cannot wait a week. I will die. I will not make it. New Hampshire may face $750,000 cut to peer recovery support services. I don't understand that. With New Hampshire being one of the highest overdose rates in the country, it's really important that our elected officials come here and talk to us and see what's going on and that they recognize the need for the funding. Senator Warren's campaign contacted North Country Health Consortium to see what's going on in northern New Hampshire around the opioid crisis. So today, um, the Senator will be touring the building. She will be meeting a couple of our clients. Brian, very nice to meet you. Hi, Eric. How are you doing? The Senator actually uh, she came into my room, talked to me. I thought I was going to be nervous about it, but it's like, Talking to somebody, part of your family, she's, she's pretty cool. I want to be able to go in the community and be a successful person in society. You're, you know still, I mean? you're still valuable. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. That's what it's about. I think yeah. friendship yeah. house is about. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me the biggest challenge. Uh, so I am 41 days sober. I came here, friendship house saved my life. But at the same time, part of why I'm sober today is because I am in this regimented, structured, protected, protected environment. And the yeah. bubble keeps you safe. The bubble keeps you safe. You keep each other safe. <laughs> <laughs> when people leave here, they are not finished. It's a lifelong uh, path that they're on. And that's the most important part, is learning how to live in recovery. Because after treatment, what happens? We don't say to someone, we'll set your broken leg, but we won't. Sorry, if it isn't healed in two weeks, you're done. This is long term for people to stay in recovery and how they get the support they need.